looks pretty good, but, you know, we've seen how secret play and how they move across the map. It isn't just all about these wombo combos. As and the there it is. The Wraith King. <laughs> oh, but who's going to play? Oh, just pick your heroes. Come on, secret. Who's playing what? Pop Poppy Wraith King. The <laughs> That's position 5, Wraith King right there. That's, 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 that's the thing, though. Ace has played Wraith King a bunch on this team as well in the one role. But it, it could have been him, but you're right. You, you are right, Lecoq. Hazel. So it's going to be a mid one. What do they have? Spirit break. Oh, God. He's going to swap. Hope so. It's Safe a lane. <laughs> what, what's happening, man? This is team secret. They have four melee heroes against Sanking, Void, and Jakiro. That <laughs> feels so weird. I, I don't know. I just, just want to see. It's fast forward, speed, times three. Let's see. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's, okay, a fatter, it's a fatter razor. I got that much, <laughs> got that much wrong. All right, it's uh, Ace on the Wraith King. Oh, okay. Feels this feels not they're, they're trolling LGD here, aren't they? The the break in between games, the waiting to get into the lobby, the mind games between Puppy FY definitely in full swing in this series. A secret <laughs> taking on LGD game number two in its best of three. Puppy, puppy, puppy. So Ace on the Wraith King, his one roll there. LGD lineup with that reincarnation so good up against these big wombo combo lineups Prepare of course you have to cycle battle. your spells and keep him kited as you possibly can starts himself off with a mango this seems uh, like it's gonna be a good game for chalice on a stanking against four melee heroes and uh, since Fata is playing uh, that offlane razor it means that he's gonna get it, be getting help from task on top Tanking is going to be against two melee heroes, especially if someone else rotates a bounty, a Jakiro, mm -hmm. they could score easy. For them. So Puppy starts things off here. Orb of Venom just also to track back on the bounty hunter. Already Yapzor. Obswords. The boots a little bit later, so pretty Don't poor on the tusk for now. Bata, Windlace there. Already up, and like you're saying, the kind of aggressive dual lane here. Tusk and Razor are going to pair up nicely. One PL, of course, in the middle lane. Bring down a whole bunch of trees here, make it a little easier to stack up these camps for him, potentially. Or he's just bored. Oh, that was mine. Charge onto Chalice. Oh, six seconds till the bounty room comes, and Chalice very afraid of what's coming his way. The chain stun is there. Show themselves the bounty. Dive away. Chalice gets out of danger. I am looking though at Maybe's build. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's quite different, but gives you what uh, two, four, seven, eight damage, and uh, plus fairy fire as well. That's the uh, ten damage that helps you last it so much. He has the same amount of damage almost as. Let's do it. Yell does have that dwelling blade, and of course, the attack animation. Quite advanced there. Sin. So, laning setup Ace and Puppy, Wraith King, and Spirit Breaker. And now it's a Jakiro Sand King lane. You were mentioning that additional bit of help coming into that bot lane for the SK. Yeah, once once they hit level 2, Jakiro and Sand King against two melee heroes, uh, yeah, it's going to be a really disaster. This bottom four uh, for Team Secret. So, so it's going to be top lane as well. Razor's going to free farm bounty, can't help out. The, uh, I expect Tusk to actually rotate to a bottom lane and leave uh, leave Razor alone. He's really not threatened by bounty and, and void. But uh, five stolen damage against the void. Time walk being very nice against the static link, of course. A move here elsewhere and it's not difficult right for this task you know you mentioned that you can't really gank the queen of pain because the blink is there maybe going for this blink screen build against the pl the doppelganger available from mid one he's very good at dodging out the shadow strike wasting skill points or mana or time endeavor Give a dive from fata here onto army little current pops out onto the void's face 
lack thereof. I do, I do apologize. Yep. That was insensitive of me. The void. Zero. Comes around a bit, charged through, but Burrow Strike in, catches Poppy. Oh, look at the, the slow. Has. Good quick TP though, gets him back to Fountain. Yeah, but the problem is uh, when they get to level 3, level 2, bar level two Burrow Strike, plus the amount of slow they provide, way, way too good of a lane. More and more difficult to secret down here. And in the meantime, Void isn't doing that poorly up at top. Six and four, and you compare that to the Wraith Kings, four and zero, ace. Having a pretty rough time down here, but mid one making up for it in that middle lane. Bashing back, poor Queen of Pain. Every time he has a Phantom Rush, he just uses it in the range of a tower. Clicks her a couple of times. If she uses the Shadow Strike, uses Doppelganger. Bottom lane, they even rotate the bounce counter. Two man oh, nice. stun with a mango play. Chalice in onto Ace and Poppy. Wraith King does turn back with a stun and Yapsu arrives with a great shard play there. FY and Chalice trying to get in deep, but Ace through some trees and first blood goes the way of Yapsor. Ace is still alive here with no stun available from the sanking. He turns back the snowball safe, comes on through and Chalice in all sorts of trouble. They'll take him down for a double. Yapsor maybe looking for more here as Puppy bashes 17. back X Nova. There's the double nice with a double bash and X Nova getting slapped around under this radiant tier. One of three for nothing. Team secret Yapsor's TP snappy instant and an absolute wonder to turn around that fight. They were way too deep, diving under the tower, knowing that uh, Tusk has a TP with the snowball uh, save people. Not sure what, what the call was. The call was kill this bloody Wraith King. Yeah, and meanwhile on top, uh, Razor is having a, a good time. He is against the melee hero. Uh, yeah, this, this lane on the bottom is uh, practically lost. Uh, both of the supports got uh, a lot of gold so they can invest. To dust against bounty against tanking. No, here for Quap needs to bring out another one in a second. Can blink over towards the DD rune, refill that bottle. But between the nulls, why is bounty still sitting at level two? And Poppy closes in on three. Yaps are also in the vicinity. Try and get himself away here. Maybe looks at the snowball. Dodges nice the dodge. borrow strike as Chalice a little bit too quick there. Now the charge through. So will be kept alive for a little longer. There's no dual breath for four. A borrow strike ready now from Chalice. Should catch in here and finally Yapzo dies. But the expenditure there. Pretty big. Again, three heroes. All being brought down to this bottom lane and all they get is a tusk. Yeah, no mana on Wraith. He needs to get some. He even used the stun on Reap to get a last hit and didn't even get Yeah. <laughs> Yaps or bringing anything? No. No clarities for Ace. Nothing like that. Middle lane, mid one. Poke back from FY. Yeah. Damage expires. Ace, time to buy some mangoes there. He's got a mango and a clarity from that courier. They'll move in now. Mango ready for Ace to get that stun to pop out. Jakiro is the target of choice. Chalice with a two-man stun. No, Puppy dodged away from it, and the Ice Shards will trap the Jakiro in. Chalice trying to get a bit more damage in onto Ace as the Bash pushes the Jakiro back out and away, but they have the Snowball to potentially make a play. Yapsor has to get it off now. Can he get this kill, though? What's going on, Jakiro? Mango HP regen is there. The Shards won't come in time. Oh. He didn't want to use it right away because he was kind of greedy. Wanted to stun both him and the Sanking. Bounce the TP's out top. He gets hit by a bash and he's like, okay, I'm gonna, gonna pray to RNG here. Pretty much know that the bash won't come a second time or I say no very loosely there. Radiant are scanning. It should work like that. Uh, Good pseudo TP. Yeah. Where are you off to? Grabs a bounty rune. Mid one secures top arcane. Maybe having a much better game so far. 29-10. Mid one still free farming, but this trade of farm in the mid lane was to be expected. Very difficult for both of the four rolls on either team to harass or do any real damage. That middle lane, but bottom Charging charge onto X Nova Chalice. He's here with a potential Burrow Strike onto two. Again, very good stuns from the Sand King. But I don't know if he can save X Nova with the shards trapping the Jakiro in. Ace will slice down the double-headed dragon. 
Kallus sticks around a little bit longer here, but the Snowball will come out. Stun up the Sand King. Two-man stun Nothing again. Charge. He has one charge is here on Ace, who turns around and stuns, but the Whoa! Sonic Wave! Maybe with an instant triple. Queen of Pain comes in and, well, mind games, screw you. I'm a Queen of Pain. <laughs> That big ulti from Queen of Pain, even though she got bashed uh, at the right or wrong moment, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, level 8, meanwhile, Jakiro is gonna get some levels in the mid lane. Uh, Faces Void uh, is level 6, almost level 7, so they should play around the Chrono. Find him. Trying to hunt the Razor. Got Burrow Strike and Epicenter. Don't even know if they need the Chrono here. It looks nope. like Bata is dead regardless. Yes. Nicely done. Right, right now, the lineup from uh, Team Secret is going to need a lot of time, actually. They can make a move with uh, both the uh, Spirit Breaker and Tusk to get some kills around, but uh, Phantom Lancer needs a lot of time to come online. Same goes for Raid King, especially because he was uh, attacked in the laning stage. What, what is he sitting at? Ground boot and... Uh... Gloves on the courier. Yeah. yeah. Feels much more comfort zone for LGD, right? They've got stuns, they've got caps, they've got AoE, they've got these combos they can play with. Feels much nicer from them, the way they're moving around the map and utilizing, especially Chalice on this Sand King. Much more of an active role that he's playing in this game rather than the Omni Knight comparison in the last one. We'll spot out Yapso here about half HP. Try and land the Burrow, unfortunately just misses out. The Queen of Pain still chasing forward though. Snowball is forced. Drag back, and Yapsaw throws one last shards out to try and do some damage to the wave, but he will die. Uh, um, actually, mid one with the double damage rune, the power to almost half HP. An immediate TP from Chalice here. Doppelganger's on cooldown. Oh, he has no boots to... Okay, he put hey. it in. In the backpack. Yep. Back down towards bottom again, maybe an X Nova. Gonna get charged up here on the Jakiro. No real follow through there. Just putting the fear into them. Been a little bit worried about what's coming in around the corner. But Ace is just AFK farming jungle for now. He needs to get levels up. Like you're saying, he was kind of sacked in that lane. 2300 net worth. Not the best spot to be in. Wraith King, relatively good jungler. We were talking about him making appearances in our pubs. I don't think we'll <laughs> see the, the Mask of Manus Deso or whatever nonsense build that comes out in pub games, it'll be the armlet it looks like here for Ace. Yeah, but he, he farms really fast with the, with the skeletons. Yeah. Now, well, I mean, you can't control them, and they feed away a lot of gold if they, they're gonna come to mid lane right now. Well, FY dies with a snowball bottom, X Nova. We get trapped in here. Static link from Fata as maybe he looks to blink forward aggressively. Sonic Wave is ready if he switches to Intreds, but the trouble is he's already dead. Jumped in to get a kill on Puppy, you know, that's the... That's... Not worth it. In the end, that's a lot of uh, XP for Team Secret. Uh, Razor gets uh, gets the last hit. Uh, still no Chronos used. Sure. I mean, maybe there Ame could have down oh, for Look a play. at the gold on Sanking. He almost has a Blink Dagger and the uh, Mana Boot. Very nice. Just behind the <laughs> Void and he's ahead of the PL. If we call the Mana Boots, can we call uh, Tranquil Boots? Hell Boots? You can do anything you want, Lacan. Were they actually called Mana Boots? I think they did. I don't... I don't think so. Oh, crap. You've, you've distracted me. Was that a Chrono? That was a Chrono. They, they killed mid one. But they were they were called Arcane Ring first, right? In Dota 1. There was the ring that you had to... The energy booster and something else. Ring of Protection. Was th there was a time in Dota when there was no Arcane Boot. You had to yeah. buy the Arcane yeah. Ring. But I don't think they were called Mana Boots. But I may be wrong. That's a Blink Dagger on a Sand King. Epicenter is ready. Russia from love. Radiant structures are fortified. <laughs> I think you got that one the wrong way around, but okay. <laughs> Barter drains a bit of damage out. FY only level 4. Uh, I want to see if they... They should implement that to see if uh, enemy team has a dome or or a smoke. How many smokes? Nice bait. Ice path not gonna land onto Puppy. 
He's in there with a dust onto FY, but the skeleton is chasing down Chalice. No Burrow Strike ready. He's being ripped apart. Damage too much. Yeah, this, these skeletons actually deal a lot of damage. I think summoned like five of them uh, with 37 attack. Plus they have a... Vampora. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't increase the damage, but uh, they have attack speed, which is pretty fast for them. A slaying. What's been happening top lane there? Mid one trying to pressure the void a little bit. Arme well on his way towards the Battle Fury while the PL have anything queued up. Exactly where he's heading, but Epicenter bottom lane, Fata very far forward, moves in to try and take down the Jagiro. Him, the Queen of Pain, arrives and makes short work of him. The Razor will take a tumble. So this is a, this is an offlane Razor with Phase Drums Aquila. You're, you're pretty damn happy with where he is right now. Top of the net worth, in fact. Uh, on his team. <laughs> oh, yeah, Queen of team. Pain is uh, extremely farmed. 6,000, level 11, almost level 12. This uh, sanking is going to cause a team secret because four melee heroes and uh, once they get the uh, bounty hunter to level 6, they can easily kite around the speed they get. The problem is Tom was, yes, purchased since hero is level FY tracking back onto mid one. Doppelganger is here. Forced to use it as he is low HP up on the high ground with the shards to block LDD away from the Phantom Land. So the Sonic Wave goes out, but the PL's already far away. No ball back into Chalice for the Ice Path on the Yapsaw. At least they'll secure themselves this little Tusk kill. Mid one getting out of there. I mean, that was a great effort from himself and the rest of the team that allow him to escape. Puppy goes in. Very aggressive plays. Razor from the high ground. Baits out the Chrono. Lands only on the Fata now with the Macroplier down. Razor will get focused as Puppy has died. PL trying to rejoin, but the damage output from LGD too much. Now a track back in. Mid one doppelgangers away. Can he juke with these illusions? No. Chalice with the big stun in. We'll make sure that LGD sweep through four of them. Yeah, they should have just waited for the last uh, kill to be um, track kill as well. The way they started this fight uh, was really good. The deep two wards. Look at the wardings uh, coming out from uh, LGD. They're playing around the uh, Team Secrets Forest. It'll be another kill. And snowball potentially, but LGD will come in from the back anyway. This is maybe with the double damage rune, the charge through. Ace stuns up Chalice. The Burrow Strike lands though with the Ice Path there, but Ace wasn't caught. Queen of Pain aiming there for a nice little snipe out on Yapsaw, but they'll lose their Sand King in exchange. Fine, maybe not so worth it. But Ace dying to Shadow Strike here. One charge, armor toggle. Yeah, okay, he's got it. He's a god. Never mind. What am I talking Dust about? cooldown. Down. Baseless Void uh, has uh, Battle Fury in uh, 800 gold. That's gonna help a lot against the PL illusions. PL not uh, not that farm. I think uh, they should just play more around Razor when uh, Chronosphere is on cooldown. Like right now, they should pressure top tower. Ace armor, drums, Razor. They've got a pretty strong and tanky frontline here to go and pressure towers. Mid one. Uh, I wish. Let me click on the real hero. There we go. Not not too far away from defusal, but like like you're saying, definitely need ramp up time. Ed, Chrono back in 25. Battle Fury nearly done. They're hitting their timings pretty nicely here, as we're also looking towards the Lincoln Sphere from maybe. Hero is building a little bit of everything. Uh, his spells goes two two, then gets one more in Liquid Fire. Needs ulti for uh, Chrono Sphere, but uh, I suppose he's gonna max the ice. That, that's his strongest scale, the best. 2.5 second duration with the... They don't like damage with, you know, a swap of Sand King. Having that extra control against PL Illusions in particular, very nice indeed. As Fanta does get jumped on a little bit. Force out the Shrine there. Still afraid, though. Keeps on sprinting as maybe holds the high ground with the Sonic Wave ready to go. Bottom lane, though. Arme jumps in, jumps out, checks it all about. Yapsaw hiding in the trees. Really like the... Pokey too much. A lot of fun. A double creep wave there. All clear through. Oh, 
Puppy, you give up on that charge. You do not go in there. Secret this time around. Playing a little bit from behind. You know, 9 to 15. But the net worth lead from LGD isn't that substantial. It's this spread from Secret across three cores plus the Tusk having a ton of money. While on LGD, it's really the top two that have the majority of the net worth. Mid one now, doppelgangering away. Gets out of the epicenter. And on this low ground, he's in a decent position to jump out as well. But the nice... Time dilation will stop the doppelganger from coming out again. The nice Phantom Rush, even better, gets onto the high ground, but one more punch nice to the chrono. snowball. Safe. Oh, it's going to keep him alive. Ice Path in with the chrono there. Doppelganger mid one is still up and running. The macro player clearing through Ace. Now they'll bring him down. But that's the reincarnation. He's able to come through and cycle his spells again. Fath is still going. And X Nova in trouble. Burst Strike from Chalice does catch two. And Ace, they need to focus him. But Jakiro and Bounty both dead. There's no track. There's no control. There's no Sand King stun. He's in the Sandstorm. And Arme is dead. Team Secret with a huge team fight. Kill four and only lose one. Yeah, big, big uh, mistake there by uh, Jakiro. He used Ice Path right away in Chronosphere and uh, tried to hit the uh, Macro Pyre on both, but actually only hit the uh, Raid King. But Raid King does not care about first life. Uh, not the best Chrono. I was expecting Chronosphere uh, before on two heroes that were here. And the uh, Phantom Lancer. Also played well, duked around with the Phantom Rush. Like he jumped down with Doppelganger, then, then Phantom Rush up. Yeah. And then they had the Snowball save across, and then he managed to get away a little bit before dying. It really was that kind of dance of death from mid one that extended the fight just a little bit longer. But yeah, what, what's up What's up with the Corona there? It was just Ame a little bit afraid of the Wraith King plus one coming into the fight. Because it seemed, it seemed delayed, but it also seemed rushed at the same time, if you understand what I'm saying. It was one of those snap decisions that maybe went wrong. And they know their ultis are on cooldown, Epicenter, Chrono, uh, also Queen of Pain, Sonic Wave. So they they can actually take the Roche, they have a vision with the Illusions and the Frozen Sigil. It's gonna be Roshan for them. F White. Walk through the Radiant Scan. I think Secret will have a good idea, there's a bounty lurking in this middle. Puppy's holding the sentry here. Sure, there's no bounty there. Ame, in the meantime, farm rate up. Often, when you see a battle fury on Void, you expect him to accelerate super quickly, right? But he's he, he, you're forced to fight with your own team, uh, and then you die. And battle fury doesn't mean anything. I mean, he's still second in the network chart, and he's gonna have a lot of items. Just needs to continue farm, but uh, these uh, chronospheres need to be... Ace. 3,000 gold saved up, and of course it's going to be a Radiance. Anything else? The hood done. Bit of there, or block up against the Quop. Hero. Tasty, well up towards top lane. Ace. Oh, Ace is in problem. He has reincarnation and armor. And LGD just always so afraid of Secret. The way that Secret play, you know, up in their face, non-stop with every single hero. You never know where the rest of the people are. They're deep inside their own side of the map. Yeah, because they, they don't have any vision. Like, they have zero wards on the map. Ah, that was one of the big problems with LGD in the previous game. How, how is that even possible? Like, they would they would make these moves. Like, Ame right now with, with maybe. Right. FY has two wards in, in his inventory. Fata getting right click down though with a double damage from Queen of Pain. Easy pickings with a Chrono while up a top lane. They'll know the Chrono's down and the Quop is there, so they move in. Jakiro caught, but Epicenter nicely done with the Burst Strike. Snowball Snave better. Yapsaw keeps everyone alive with the Doppelganger out. Mid one tries to sprint away. Quop arrives and takes the Aegis out immediately, but Ace slaying people in the midst of battle. He does not care. His sword is bigger than your mace. Ah, May has to run away. The charge of Puppy and onto Maybe. Do they have the control? It looks no, like they've got man, the damage. They pain. don't care about control secret 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 well that was basically a fight seven uh, actually six versus uh five because razor was out they had the aegis on uh, phantom lancer and the uh, reincarnation on raid king you need to focus these heroes because they deal ton of damage but uh, on the other hand you don't want to Chrono is on uh, cooldown for the next uh, 30 seconds they want to go for tier three right now <laughs> they're breaking high ground and they go. Glyph forced out. Yeah, I think 
now may be a good time to maybe talk about LGD and their, their warding situation because uh, a, a key moment for me, you brought up that uh, the kind of the mirroring effect, you know, one team, you know, the yeah. swap of sides where we have that cut across the map and the secret side comes in, they place wards, they get them down deep, watch the ancients. LGD did the same thing. They come in through this other side of the jungle in the previous game and they just did not ward at all. They seem to be making maneuvers without planning ahead too far. They're just like, we need to smoke now. They go, and they don't plan about that warding in the vision early enough. They do have now a defensive ward, at least up on their high ground, and one did go deep from FY, I believe. That one is got over towards the other side of the map. Yeah, this is the ward that I love. One of the better wards because it provides you the vision of uh, an enemy, especially if he goes to this camp first, then you know where he's so easy to gain. This. TP is on the shrine, see the farming, see. Faces Void just wants the tank up, not so they can't kill him. I usually would see Manta style, so he can get rid of something to get rid of. That's why he went right away. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Reincarnation, ready. it's ready. Ace, he will turn his fight around. Army stuck in a tree, he needs to cut through. There's the catch with the Chrono, but it's only on the Wraith King. They have the damage from outside as well. Now they will bring down Ace with the Sonic Wave, good over the top. But LGD expended so much for just that one kill. Ice Shards do trap Arme in, but he's got a time walk to get himself away. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was so very nearly perfect timing. Almost. Feels so weird, man. That 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 can backfire. They knew that the uh, probably knew around timing when the uh, Raid King died could be wrong for a couple of seconds. Uh, with Queen of Pain, uh, Lincoln Sphere is not that threatened with the uh, Raid Raid King initiating and the uh, Spirit Breaker as well. Petrus Void might get. He's aiming towards the BKB for now. Scan onto FY. Dust from Yapsor. Bounty has been rustled. No more messing around in our jungle. Thank you very much. Again? You know, another move there. Sure, LG already had the ward down as they smoke in aggressively. But FY going into this jungle without any vision, just trying to scout people out himself naturally. I do wish I could see what kind of... Oh, there we go. There's an observer ward on the floor. Yeah, obs, obs ward smoke being dropped on the floor. Here, someone needs to go out and place these ASA. Yeah, and the, the bounty's job, the uh, full spirit vessel on uh, on task completed. Uh, <clears throat> he's actually going for uh, 90 GPM. Uh, I said yesterday why XP gain is uh, much better, because it gets you to level 15 uh, faster, and then you can shove out the waves, uh, use ice shards and uh, snowball, and you clear them in one shot. It also gives you uh, ability to be on the same level as your cores later on and gives you a lot of stats, status resistance as well. Oh, they are really committing for this, but the snowball save again. Yapsor is just so good at this. They will roll forward as the Raid Fire Blast from, uh, from Ace, sorry, comes in and they'll clear up Chalice. One charges forward, but again, LGD, they are trying to force things to happen with Puppy dusting forward. FY has been caught by this potentially, and there we go. They see them. Yapsor already on the case. We'll try and bring down the pesky little bounty hunter. One more hit, one more tap. It's Fata. No, it's not. It's Yap. Yapsor gets Yapsor it with the urn, I guess. Urn. LGD trying to force the issue too much here and there. Wraith King now, Radiance Armlet. They're closing in on another one of these games where their core heroes are just unkillable, right? Yeah, the same thing uh, they did uh, on day number one. They had the heroes that uh, you can't have. They had three beefy core. But it's... Well, he's probably gonna go for a heart, just tank up so he doesn't die in a chrono, doesn't get blown up by a tanking epicenter. Running away from a Spirit Breaker and a Tusk. Chalice started this game very, very nicely, but his farm priority, it feels, has kind of been given away to the Quop and the Void very heavily. Arme feels he needs more creeps to be more of an impact in this game. Been running around using the Blink and the Force Staff pretty nicely to catch people off. Awaiting, though, maybe Queen of Pain 
Yeah, another ulti like we saw bottom lane that initial fight. You know, the three-man Sonic wave was very nice, but Secret haven't lined up for any of them. Oh, I love it. I don't think that's uh, that's used uh, enough. He has Whistle Blade. Like, you have a Stout Shield you start with, uh, start with uh, and then you go for a Basher for the extra lockdown on Faceless Void and, uh, you know, Mobile. Uh, especially with the uh, you know, Pain having a uh, Lincoln Sphere and Void going for that uh, tanky build with a BKB. So they need, need need some extra luck. I hope he goes. Mine and go for Butterfly. Heart. No, Heart. I mean, um, Heart would give him the tankiness, but uh, so is uh, that Vanguard. I'm not sure about this LGD. That's a Wraith King. As an ultimate, which allows him to respawn, and you've had difficulties previously with that. Pull back just a little bit here. Arme and Chalice on the high ground. No radiant vision up in this part of the map. Secret only sees their creep waves towards down in the jungle. Battle around Roshan, though, as the big man respawning now. Oh, now. Is it just bugged? Now? Yeah, it's not working. You want to try it? Three, two, one. Oh, you were close, man. If only he started, yeah, if he only started a second earlier. He, he would have looked so good. He would have looked so good. But yeah, secret. They, 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 they know. They know. They've Poppy's got the internal clock. He walks, he smokes, he moves. Roshan for ace in mid one. Yeah, Thonian clock, but works as good as Swiss. Absolutely. They got rid of the Soviet waves and they made some clocks of their own and they turned out better. Now Bounty immediately blown up. LGD feels like they need to still go into this pit. They've got the Chrono and a BKB done now for Ame. Mid one and ace. Quickly dispatching the Roshan. LGD with maybe mid shoving out that creep wave. Trying to set up for something and give themselves a little more of an angle to move in, but this has given Secret an angle to strike as well. The BKB from Arme jumps away from the static link. He can go for a two-man chrono here, but it's not gonna be good enough. They try and force Chalice out, but he's dead. Three gone from LGD already as the Queen of Pain blinks up towards the high ground with Arme holding the ramp as well, but jump in from Ace, pops the Lincolns out. There's a blink away again from maybe, and FY tries to earn the Queen of Pain up, but in comes a charge. Puppy, he's ready to fight. No, he's not. Turn tail and run. They're forced to buy back from the Sand King, and this will be their time to depart. I'm, I'm surprised that uh, they didn't uh, take the Roche there. Instead, they decided to chase Queen of Pain, which might actually backfire. They still have a Reincarnation on the rating, which is level 3. Sanking uh, needed to buy back there. Roshan glitched out inside of his pit, doesn't know where to stand. Twiddling his thumbs over in the, the right-hand side of the room. But middle lane, they will jump in. Puppy gets taken out as quickly as he Printed forward. Ace now with a spirit vessel on him. Right click down here. I don't think he can armor toggle through this. We'll see though. Ace chrono up, and he definitely can't. They do not catch the PL though. As Fata moves forwards. Mid one. Still full no. HP. They can't deal with him. Mid one's just going to run in here and do a ton of damage. Chalice gone. Nice ice path. Macro Pyre does get the tusk. The Absol can't snowball save people, but FY being ripped apart. The PL illusions going in. Far to drop by maybe. And they don't want to deal with the PL. They're killing everyone else instead. LGD says, cool, mid one. You do what you want. We will destroy the rest of your team. Nice Doppelganger dodge. over the ice path now. Ace still rolling forward as X Nova gets brought to his knees. Now yeah, that Chronosphere only caught PL on the edge and uh, caught Raid King with, with an ultimate and uh, the hero was not even around to follow up with the damage. Secret. That's straight back into Roshan. LGD. Fortunately not getting what they needed. PL picked up uh, both cheese and should probably give a cheese to the Razor if possible. They have uh, three lives. When was the last time we saw a Sonic Wave from Queen of Pain? It feels like maybe he's really holding on to this for as long as possible. For those real big ultis to it's, come out. It feels like whenever she uses Sonic Wave, the, the sound is stuck in my ears. And it, it feels like it's uh, always on cooldown, but it's actually not. <laughs> they're, Very good rendition. Yeah, they're gonna go in right. PL has uh, actually gone for God, he just needs a career to buy it. They blow up Puppy. 
There is a reincarnation here from Ace, though, as the Burrow Strike lands on two. Callus with no Sandstorm, but a good Ice Path. Blink forward, maybe catches mid one. Aegis and Chi's still on him, though, like you were mentioning. Turns back and fights. No maybe man, no matter, can't been. Blink. One charge there, but is unable to get it done. Now Ace just moves on forwards. He's a bulldozer, rolling in onto LGD. The Tarmac unable to withstand the weight of this Wraith King. Oh, they ping it out. Fantanos, Radiance just Fantanos. come with the Radiance. There we go, oh. very nicely done. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Pain, uh, she does have a buyback and she's the only one on the side of LGD. That's a uh, Razor with Cheese. Uh, another ulti from Wraith King and still Aegis on Phantom Lancer. So you have three cores with uh, three lives. Eight versus five. Eight versus three, actually. Watching the hero. Saved up a little bit here with the Yules and a stun. Next Nova dead to right, says the Wraith King. Dismantles and mounts the two heads on his bedroom wall. Ace will take down a nice little lane of racks here for Secret to claim as they shift up towards top as well. Chrono ready from the Faceless Void, but they need maybe to be alive at this point. Tier 3 top will surely fall. Arme comes in, catches the Wraith King. The reincarnation is yeah, there. He hits uh, everyone once, goes back. Just can't do anything. Oh, GD, <laughs> they're just getting outdone here. Secret inside this base, the doppelganger over, dodges the Burrow Strike. Arme now, who can't even time walk away, dead for a minute and a half. Queen of Pain blinking, TPing, where is she off to? I, I can't can't keep up, maybe. Okay, back in the fountain then. When it's time to call it, it's time to call it. I believe it might just be time to call it. There's the Sonic Wave, but Secret 5 man, rotation into the fountain. On my way, says Fata, but that is surely game. GG is called, and Team Secret 2-0. Wipe LGD off the face of the freaking map! Uh, once again, uh, Team Secret with uh, unorthodox picks. Like, four melee heroes. Uh, the bottom lane was lost at the start, uh, but they managed to come back. The jungling uh, uh, Raid King is the new Legion command in the jungle.